eyes, eyes on the skies. It was a snowy start to the day, but we have had warmer temperatures move into the area. See how long they stick around in just a little bit. Plus, Colleen is in the studio to give you your national forecast. This is your February 17th, 2014 editions of Size Eyes on the Skies, and it starts right now. It's Monday night on ISU TV. Broadcasting live from Ames, Iowa. This is Size Eyes on the Skies. ISU TV's longest running television show brings you the weather around the country in Iowa, Ames, and beyond. The Iowa State Meteorology Department's team of forecasters keeps you ahead of the next weather system. Size Eyes on the Skies starts now. Welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. I'm joined here with Colleen Melberg. Um, what's going on around the country? Well, I guess the big news right now is that winter storm that occurred in the Midwest here, especially in Iowa and Minnesota and today, is now making its way over to the Great Lakes states and into the Northeast overnight tonight. With a lot of snow and some interesting thunder snow activity happening mm -hmm. with this. And the Northwest has a bunch of new little systems coming through that will start making its way towards us later in the week, but I'll have all the details on that coming up. Mm. Sounds good. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna mm. come over here and talk to Rachel, who is doing Iowa today. Yes, it was a very snowy start, almost blizzard-like it looked like. I woke up this morning, could barely see out my window, but that quickly moved out and we have had sunny, gorgeous skies throughout the rest of the day, so I it can't was, complain about the rest the end of the day. It was definitely interesting waking up to yeah. uh, snow and then you know, later in the day with the temperatures we had. Yeah. But I'm sure you'll have more on that coming Absolutely. up. Absolutely. But we'll take a look at the day planner right now, what we can expect for tomorrow for our temperatures. We are going to expect another warm day at 8 a.m. tomorrow. We're looking at about 28 degrees with pretty sunny skies throughout most of the day. 38 degrees by noon, and we're looking at a high of 43 degrees by 3 p.m. tomorrow. So it's going to be another nice sunny day, with, which will allow plenty of that snow to continue to melt for the rest of the day. So another gorgeous Tuesday in store for us here in Ames. All right, sounds good. We're going to take a break here, and we'll, we'll be right back with uh, national weather. And welcome back to Size Eyes Up in the Skies. I'm here to look at your national forecast. And for many of us Midwesterners, we are so sick of the cold and snow. And luckily, one of our viewer photos has a nice sign out by a church saying, if you're praying for a blizzard, please go to Dairy Queen. I think that is a true story for many of us here as we are so tired of the snow, especially the snow that happened earlier here today across Midwest. In terms of across the um, state right now, the country is say very warm in Phoenix at 85 degrees. So if you're looking to get away to that heat, that is the place to go. Otherwise, the north is still a little bit chilly and off to the north and east. That is where those chilly temperatures are still located. And they'll continue up until the next few days when some warmer temperatures start to occur. Now, the northeast, as I mentioned, some maybe the cloudier skies. The winter system with all that snow is making its way towards them overnight tonight. That could drop them another one to five inches in their area, maybe a little more localized, heavier pockets as well. Now, the southeast looks pretty nice there. Some spring-like temperatures with New Orleans at 72 degrees and Little Rock at 68. So pretty nice and quiet there, but that may change later in the week as well as another system begins to make its way through. Now, the southwest... Same old story, dry and warm, well above average. Las Vegas, 77 degrees, Phoenix, 85. They just can't seem to get a break from these record-breaking temperatures this winter. And the northwest, cloudy currently right now, but that will also begin to change into tomorrow as more rain is expected into the forecast. Midwest for us, some spring-like temperatures for us. As Kansas City is at 45 degrees, Des Moines at 43. So all that snowpack that occurred later this morning is melted. So all those cars, if you didn't brush off the storm in your car, you had no need to as it all melted by this afternoon. Now, a current uh, watches and warnings, a few watches and warnings up and towards the northern Rockies, mainly due to snow. But the big picture is towards uh, the Great Lakes area. You can see where all those purple colors are. And that is where we have those winter oops, uh, storm warnings 
and that will occur uh, later into this evening, maybe some localized heavy pockets of snow. For clouds and radar, you can see where those uh, snow bands are in the early or northern Rockies and maybe in the Snoqualmie Pass in Washington can see up to two to three feet of snow overnight tonight. So if you love skiing, that is the place to be. However, the big picture is for the uh, Great Lakes area. Like I mentioned, you can see where all that snow is moving off into their area and that will continue to move out in their area overnight tonight. The closer view, you can see it's currently heading over uh, Wisconsin into Michigan and by maybe into the Detroit area, making a messy commute for us tonight. Now taking a look at future cast, you can see where those, the next system is brewing out in the northwest. That will begin to make its way towards us later in the week, while that system in the northeast makes its way out and pushes, bringing all that snow in maybe Maine. But the picture that we're going to look at is the northwest as that snow and all the rain begins to make its way further south and east. That will continue to hook its way across Oklahoma and Missouri, bringing maybe some bit more active weather for us on Thursday. Maybe even a few thunderstorms are possible in certain areas. Highs for tomorrow, nice and pleasant. 56 in Denver, 44 in Billings. It's definitely much warmer than we've been seeing over this past winter, so maybe spring is finally on the way. So our city of the week is Toledo, Ohio, as they will be experiencing that snow maybe about now and into overnight tonight where they can see maybe up to five inches like I mentioned. So Tuesday quiet right now but later overnight they'll see that snow and into Thursday and Friday as well. More chances of snow build in but temperatures will remain above freezing 47 on Thursday and 36 on Friday. However by earlier into next week those temperatures begin to drop back down. That's all I have from the National Forecast and I'm back to the desk. All right thank you very much Colleen. We're going to go ahead and take a look at your trivia question for tonight. On this day in 1981, the Twin Cities set a new high temperature record. How warm did it get? A, 45 degrees, B, 50 degrees, C, 55 degrees, or D, 60 degrees? We'll have your answer and much more coming up after the break. And welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. We're going to go ahead and recap your trivia question for tonight. On this day in 1981, the Twin Cities set a new high temperature record. How warm did it get? Was it A, 45 degrees, B, 50 degrees, C, 55 degrees, or D, 60 degrees? And the answer is B, or C, excuse me, 50, I don't even know, B, 50 degrees. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go ahead and check out what the scoop for Iowa is. Uh, we're going to go ahead and send it over to Rachel. All right, thanks, Brandon. We have a lovely viewer photo to start off of what we saw across Central Campus today with the snow falling this morning. So even though it was heavy snow, it made for a very picturesque campus this morning. Taking a look at those snow totals that we had, Des Moines had around 2.3 inches of snow and it ranged all the way up to Ames where we got three inches of snow. So it was quite a heavy band of snow that moved through in the early hours of the morning. But most of that snow is melted. As you can see, the system has moved off to our east and plenty of sunshine and clear skies behind it right now. As we zoom in closer, taking a look at our current temperatures right now in Des Moines, we're looking at 43 degrees and moving up to our north a little bit. We can see it's slightly cooler with Fort Dodge sitting around 37 degrees currently. In Ames, zooming out a little bit, we can see that we have a little bit of a gradient, 46 degrees in Council Bluffs, so it was much warmer for them to our south, but to our east, we can see the much cooler temperatures and just right around freezing degrees where they got much heavier snow than we did here in central Iowa. We have those clear skies after the system moved out and they will be sticking around with us for quite some time. I found this map interesting, the snow depth currently. You can see where the much warmer temperatures were today. They really do not have much snow left, but we have around four inches of snow left in central Iowa and out to our east they have around five inches, but much of that will be melting over the next couple days as our temperatures are in the upper 40s to close to 50 degrees. Futurecast doesn't show much. We are going to see clear skies Tuesday, maybe a few spotty clouds, high clouds throughout the afternoon. But other than that, we will see clear skies, so plenty of sunshine to keep melting some of that snow that we keep piling up. 
but tonight for our low here in Ames, we're looking at 25 degrees, 22 up in Mason City, and 27 degrees in Des Moines. And tomorrow for our highs, we're looking at another beautiful day, 50 degrees down in Des Moines, 44 in Ames, and 55, so a warm one over in Council Bluffs. So if you want the heat, you got to go to our west a little bit. Tonight, though, 25 degrees with clear skies. It will be gusty, though, with winds up to 20 miles per hour at times, so... I pay attention to that, but tomorrow we're looking for a gorgeous day, 44 degrees, sunny, warmer with breezy conditions as well. But taking a look at your seven day right now, we have warmer on Tuesday. Wednesday night into Thursday is when our next big system could move through. It could bring us quite a bit of snow if things continue to evolve the way they are right now. But taking a look at the rest of the week then, it starts to cool down slightly towards the end of the week, but we should enjoy Degree, temperatures in the 40s through much of the week until the weekend where clouds roll back in and cloudy skies as well. So we should have a pretty good, oh, we should melt quite a bit of snow, granted that the Thursday system doesn't drop it all back down to us again. Now, I don't know about you, but walking back this afternoon, there were some huge puddles. Yeah, yeah. It was like stepping through a mini lake. I thought I, I maybe I should have worn my rain boots instead of my snow yeah. boots. Same here. They yeah. were uh, pretty wet. So yeah. I, <laughs> I definitely wore my boots on the way to class, but it was a mistake taking them off because my socks ended up all wet on the way yep. to the gym yeah, today. Yeah, exactly. You know how uncomfortable that is. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but I mean, I won't complain about all the melting of the snow. Give us mm -mm. a bit of a break from this yes. brutal winter we've had. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully the trend more leans towards more warmer temperatures in the future instead of going back to cold since what is March next week or two weeks from next now? Next week, I believe. It is so almost it's March, so coming. spring is coming. And yes, it is, but Thursday yes. looks like it might be our first spring-like, maybe a winter storm. Yeah. Looks like, I don't know. We're not quite sure not yet. Not quite sure, <laughs> but we do know it is going to be a big weather maker yep. for us here in the Midwest as to what kind of precipitation. We'll let you know on we'll Wednesday. <laughs> Only time will tell. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right, well, that's all we have for you tonight on Size Eyes on the Skies. We hope you enjoy your night, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and on Twitter.